Melissa from North Alabama with my 01 C5 Corvette. Thanks for tuning in to the Corvette channel. Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be showing you how to check and clear the codes out of a later model C4 Corvette. Okay, so if you have a 90 through 95 Corvette, your your connector is probably going to look like this. In 96, they change it to ODBE2, um, so it'll look a little bit different, and the testing procedure is a little bit different for that. But um, this will actually allow you to use the digital dash where your speedometer is at to be able to get the codes rather than having to try to jump this, like in the older ones in from 84, uh, up until I think it was 89 they had the old the the digital dash the LED dash and so it only had the the check engine light itself and you had to use that by um, pulses of the light so this is a little bit easier um, to do but what I'm showing you here is that I've just taken a, a paper clip and I've jumped the very bottom left terminal and the very top right terminal and what that does is that puts it in a diagnostic mode. So then, then when you come up here and turn the key on without starting it, it'll actually run it through its course. Okay, so once we've got the jumper set down below with the paper clip, you're going to come up here and you're going to turn the key on. And you're going to see that it's going to go into diagnostic mode. And it's going to report a C12. And then there's a line below that. That's if there's nothing in that particular section of the computer. And you'll have the three lines. Then you go to the next one and it has an H16 code which I will tell you about in a second. It's cycling through all of its different computers and that's going to be the only one that it's going to find. Okay now it's come up to the 1.0 so it's done checking. So now over here I'm going to use the trip odometer and if you can see that it's moving from 1.1, 1, 1.2, 1. 1.3. These are all subsections of the computer, so if there is a problem, it would let you know. Now, here is 1.7. This is the erase mode. This is where if you've made some changes, you fix something, and now you need to get, get the codes cleared, you want to do that so you can make sure you've got everything fixed. So to do that, we got up to the 1.7. And now we're just simply going to hold the metric or English metric button down for a second until we get the three the three lines across there. That means that we've cleared the codes. Then at that point, we're going to press and hold the trip button, and that's going to get us into the next computer. And then again, we're going to hit the trip odometer button, and it's going to cycle through until we get to 4.7. And then we're going to hit the English metric until we get the three lines. Then we're going to hit the trip button again, and that's going to put us into the 9 computer. We're going to hit the trip odometer, and we've got to 9.7, and now we're going to hit the trip, or the uh, English metric button again, and that's clearing everything in the computer until we got, everything is cleaned out. Okay, so we're going to test it now, now that we've cleared the codes. And the only one that we should get would be the H16. And that will be coming because of the, um, because I have a, a aftermarket Magnus Spark system in the car. And the person that had the car before me did not replace it with a genuine GM part. And apparently it sends a, from what I've read, um, it puts out a special signal to the computer to let it know it's genuine. Um, I don't know how many different ones, uh, I'm sure there's aftermarket ones that work just perfectly. I don't have any other issues with the car, so it's like, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't trigger a check engine light or anything like that. So the only time I ever see it is when I'm in the diagnostic mode like this. So anyway, so what we've done is we've got, we've cleared the codes. We see that it's all clear. We're going to shut the engine, shut the key off. We're going to remove the jumper. And then I'm going to go ahead and start the car and see if we've cleared our problem. Seconds, and if that ends up being the case, 
got more work to do, but otherwise, I think we've, I think we've got it here. So it pretty much looks like it's all taken care of. The car is burned like a kitten, it's running fine, the light didn't come back on, so I think we're good. If you liked the video that you saw today, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit the bell so you'll be notified of our next uploads. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Hi, I'm Lily. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel, and don't forget to hit subscribe.